Hey guys, and welcome to this video on recurrence relations. So here we want to use the iteration technique to solve the following recurrence relation. And we have the recurrence relation in the blue rectangle here, which states that our function t of n is equal to 3 times t of n minus 1 plus 1. And then we have our base case that states when n equals 1, our function t is equal to 1. And in the green here, we have a useful uh, summation formula that we're going to be using in this video. So let's go ahead and get started by first rewriting our recurrence relation. So we get t of n is equal to 3 times t of n minus 1 plus 1. And what we want to know is what is t of n minus 1? And we can do that just by substituting in n minus 1 for n in our original recurrence relation function. So we get t of n minus 1 is equal to 3 times t of n minus 1 minus 1 plus 1, which gives us 3 times t of n minus 2 plus 1. So now we can substitute t of n minus 1 for 3 times t of n minus 2 plus 1. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we get t of n is equal to 3 times... 3 times t of n minus 2 plus 1, all right, and then we still have our plus 1 here, and this is equal to 3 to the power of 2 times t of n minus 2 plus 3 plus 1, all right? So now we want to know what is t of n minus 2. Well, t of n minus 2 is equal to 3 times t of n minus 2 minus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3 times t of n minus 3 plus 1. Okay, so now we can uh, substitute uh, 3 times t of n minus 3 plus 1 for t of n minus 2 in our equation. So we get t of n is now equal to 3 squared times 3 times t of n minus 3 plus 1. And actually, I'm going to put that in green so that is very obvious. All right, so we get, again, 3 times t of n minus 3 plus 1, all right, and then we have plus 3 plus 1, okay, and this is equal to 3 to the power of 3 times t of n minus 3 plus 3 squared plus 3 plus 1, okay. Now I'm going to stop here because I can already see a pattern. So let me show you guys uh, the pattern that I see. We're going to look at the iterations that we've used here, and we're going to put them in terms of k. So in our first iteration, we had t of n is equal to 3 times t of n minus 1 plus 1. So you can see where the 1s are, um, and you can see how they kind of relate to k. But let's look at the next iteration. So the second iteration here, we have t of n is equal to 3 to the power of 2, okay, times 2, I'm sorry, times t of n minus 2. Again, we have another 2, but now we have plus 3 plus 1. So that's a little weird, but we'll um, figure that out. And then in the third iteration, we have t of n is equal to 3 to the power of 3 times t of n minus 3 plus 3 squared plus 3 plus 1. All right, so what we're trying to do is get a general form. And I'm going to write it here, general form. All right. And what I see is, I see we have t of n is equal to 3 to the power of k times t of n minus k plus um, the summation from i equals 0 to k minus 1 of 
3 to the power of i. And the reason for this is because in the first one, well, let's look at the third uh, iteration here. We really have 3 squared plus 3 to the power of 1 plus 3 to the power of 0. All right. And that's exactly what this um, summation here will do if our k value is equal to 3. So we would get the summation from i equals 0 of 3 minus 1, right? Because in the third k iteration, uh, we want this right here of 3 to the i. So this is equal to the summation from i equals 0 to 2 of 3 to the i, which is equal to 3 to the 0 plus 3 to the 1 plus 3 to the 2. All right, so hopefully you got that. All right, so I'm just going to erase some of this here. Okay, now uh, we need to know when our recurrence relation stops, and it stops when our value uh, t becomes 1. And in order for that to happen, um, we need our n value to be 1. So we want um, t of n minus k to be equal to 1. And this implies that n minus k needs to equal 1. All right. Now, also, I want to get this equation, this general form, in terms of n. So that way, I can substitute out the k value for um, an n value, for an, an equivalent n value. So... Um, let's see, n is equal to 1 plus k, and that means that n minus 1 is equal to uh, k. So now we can substitute the k value out for n minus 1 in our equation. So that's exactly what we'll do. All right, so now t of n is equal to 3 to the power of n minus 1 times t of n minus n minus 1 plus um, the summation from i equals 0 of n minus 1 minus 1. I'm sorry, from i equals 0 to n minus 1 minus 1 of 3 to the i. Okay, and this is just equal to um, 3 to the n minus 1 times t of 1 plus the summation from i equals 0 to n minus 2 of 3 to the i. Okay, and this is just equal to 3 times n minus 1 um, plus the summation from i equals 0 to n minus 2 of 3 to the i. And remember that that t of 1 over here just becomes 1, right, from our base case. So uh, that's why that just kind of disappeared there. Okay. And now what we can do is we can use that useful formula up here for our summation. So we get um, 3 to the n minus 1 plus uh, 3 to the power of n minus 2 plus 1. So that's just going to be n minus 1 and all that minus 1 over 3 minus 1. Okay, so now this is equal to... Um, let's see, I'm running out of room here. So uh, this is equal to 3 to the power of n minus 1 plus 3 to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 over 2. And then let me come down here. Hopefully I have just enough room. So we get um, 2 times 3 to the n minus 1 plus 3 to the n minus 1 minus 1 all over 2. And this 
becomes 3 of n minus 1 minus 1 all over 2. Oh, sorry. 3 um, to the power of n. 3 to the power of n minus 1 all over 2. Okay? And that's simply because 2 times 3 of n minus 1 is really equal to uh, 3 of n. 3 to the power of n minus 1 plus 3 to the power of n minus 1. So what we really have there is 3 to the power of n minus 1 plus 3 to the power of n minus 1 plus 3 to the power of n minus 1, or 3 times 3 to the power of n minus 1, which is just equal to 3 to the power of n. And so that's how I got that. And that is it, guys. So um, we just solved... Uh, the recurrence relation using the iteration technique. So please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Um, don't forget to hit that, that subscribe button and that like button. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it. And as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.